Hello, 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 and what's up? And welcome to the channel. My name is Kenneth for Right Beats, and today I'm just here to show you guys how I incorporate Scalar into my workflow to make all my FL Studio process quick, snappy, and more empowered. Let's go. So as you can see, I already have Scalar uh, loaded into my sequencer there. If you um, all I do to just load it is I go here and then usually supposed to be there if you can't find it there you just go for more plugins and then you go ahead and you search for your scalar there you go scalar you load it up and then uh, you're gonna open up your scalar when you open up scalar um, this is what you're gonna be presented with you know just a little bit of a tutorial if you're like me, you're still trying to land and you're still trying to get there. But um, the magic that I found with Scalar is this. This is just on another level of music theory and how it teaches you to just, you know, get creative and inspires you. So you only start up at this detect mode. It's going to detect whatever key you press is going to detect the key and it's going to give you chord variations like um, how you can play that key right so I'm gonna go ahead and press record and then I'm gonna just hit C chord and now just hitting that key when you hit record go ahead and hit the key there you go. They have just they giving you like a whole complete set of keys. You can play a whole set of chords. Now let's listen to what they came up with. And well, that's it then. That's what you've got then, right? Now you can mess around with these things. This is the voice sense. It's like how it's like a sort of like your dynamics for the for the keys. Like how different the like upscaling and you know how it's going to sound. And the other cool thing that I always like is when you go to modulation. You see, uh, you choose D. They'll show you. They'll show you and you know let you know how D will sound. You know in the same like all the other scales you can play that go with the same scale that you just chose so you see and you can even drag these down and add them to that one then you talk which is the one that they suggested for you and if you uh, go like to E they call it circle of fit so and then that's that's just how I, I find scalar to be like empowering to anyone you know even if you are a beginner or a mid-level producer or you're a world-class renowned producer I think you can always use this so now here where come the magic now this is where comes the magic so that you know you can go ahead and you know now start layering your pattern and you know end up dragging it to where you want to drag it to like on your midi channel and you know just use it now with a different instrument or you can just go ahead and use it with scalar so it goes like didn't sound nice so we can just go to like so you can go ahead and you can drag that one put it in there drag that one put it in there, there. now as you can see you have one two three four that's going to be above right 
I go five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be one, two, three, four bars, five, six, seven, eight bars. Now I didn't like the B, right? And I can check for uh, more variations here. And maybe I can take this one, put it in there, and then we're gonna play this. Here. So, you can go ahead and um, decide to say, okay, uh, this one I didn't like. Uh, you can remove it. And then, but say these are the ones that I like, but I want to put variations to them. Like, like. Did you hear that? So, but I can, it's either you can do, the way I found out is it's very easy to get it to play the way you want, right? Like, right. Now, here comes the part that I like. You see, I was just going ahead and pressing. When I got here, I went like. I'm going to create that. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to edit. And when you come to edit, you're going to open. It's your octave, your semitones, and your inversions, right? I don't usually just mess with those because. I always say, well, I can go ahead and go ahead and, you know, give my sounds, the feelings and the octaves and all the pitches that I want. I give them to my sound, you know, on on the, um, oh, with the effects from the FL Studio. So I just go ahead and now I'm going to come here and say, well, this is the duration. This is the repeat, right? Now. If I want this to, uh, I usually don't mess with the duration because the duration will say, uh, let it play maybe, uh, say, um, what can I say? Let it play maybe at half speed or what, right? But I, I usually don't want to mess with those kind of things because, well, yeah, I'm not really into changing that. What I want to do is give it, you know, different, let it play to the way I want it to sound like. I, I went here and I said, this one, I wanted it to play two, three, four times, right? Now, let's go ahead and play that. Did you hear that? It played four times. And I could, I could take this one. And then I say, um, what if uh, I also want G to play two times, right? I'm just going to do two. And then it's going to play two times, right? Yeah. So, and then you can come here where it says perform. And you right click. It was going to give you arpeggio, strumming, expressions. And you can go to arpeggio. And as soon as you hit arpeggio, listen to what the C major is going to do. starting to you know feel a little bit of like um inspiration so what i could do is i could also take this c and I'm, this g major and i'm gonna put it here um so uh let me find out how to do that let's right click right click uh let's see if yeah there we go oops oops Let's take it back. Um, I've got to find out how to do that. But you get you get you get what, what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm still learning, so yeah. But I mean, 
it, it just already created a rhythm for you, so you can. G right here because I want this G to also come back here and well um, what are we playing anyway we can go ahead and you know arpeggio this G again because I like the way that it arpeggiated at the C major there right so now let's go again So that that's just how so far I can tell you that this is how scalar and and uh, look there's you mean, there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff you can go into with this thing and I'm just touching the basics like because you know although scalar is that good you want to um, also be able to go and enhance your skill by taking your um, the pattern that you created in scalar and you drag it into another into maybe another synth where uh, maybe like whatever sync you have um, drag it in there and then you know use it to sort of like you know enhance your skill now start messing around with it change you know give it uh, take it an octave high now inside your sequencer inside your piano roll so that now you can see okay this is where how the chords go and you start building it from there so in, already I have something that I can start a beat with you see I already have something I can start a beat with now it, it's it's look, that's how I, I find this to be uh, like very inspiring and you know um, amazing because now what what I can do is um, and and when you this little button when you right click on this little button now FL Studio is going to play scalar for you do you hear what's happening now that's because when we come here I've got only one bar so and scalar was playing like how many uh, seven like six so that that's just how you get to do it and you know you, you once you get into how uh, you, you, you start exploring the this plugin more you're gonna find out more ways of how to use it so as you can see um, now I did put the G major here and now um, I this is how it's going to sound and um, we're going to go ahead and take a, a listen now you know and then when you're ready you can add it to whatever um, synth or whatever instrument you want to use i already have addictive keys put up there and all you need to do is just click this drag button take it and you're just going to drop in there and then while it's in there here we go you just have to take it let's take a listen and see what they do. Like if I say I want to add like maybe 
and a page you uh, like here on the like maybe here I could go ahead and, and then a page you here and then um, I could like maybe say playback timings and then I could um, make sure this one you see this one plays four times I could make sure this one maybe plays three times you know and so let's maybe say this one should play three times first one you had the first version that I had we're going to delete this one and then let's come up uh, let's come back to a scalar and then just drag this one in to addictive keys and just listen to how ch it just changed with just a few clicks here you just go put an appagiator there maybe make this one play three times and you know you're not even doing and look at when you right click it's off expression strumming so you can even strum whatever you want to do just right from this thing you know and it's, when you drag and drop it's gonna come with all the, the the effects and all the modulations you've put in and everything you've put in there like all the processings you've done it's going to be dragged into the you know just like that so let's go ahead and listen to um this addictive keys let me just go ahead uh, um, let me just go ahead and zoom uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see everything. Right, uh, let's go. so um thank you guys for being here and checking out what i was trying to do um that was just me uh you know playing around with scalar and just trying to show you guys a few things that i've learned if you like what you saw go ahead and click that subscribe button for more and please go ahead and leave those comments you know uh, i think i believe in comments where you know we're going to teach each other you tell me like okay this is how i'll use this and you know you can even like maybe put in a little bit of whatever you want to put in there in terms of like a link that you know people could go ahead and click i could even go and click and see what you did with your own scalar you can also follow me on beat stars at uh, right beats one and um peace thank you guys See you soon.